this just happened, and I think it's particularly appropriate since we're sitting in the main legislature. <laughs> this is about Washington State's legislature is considering legislation right now that would address a problem they have with aquaculture, Atlantic salmon being grown on the Pacific coast. And they are concerned and have been for a while about the Atlantic salmon escaping into the Pacific, interbreeding, competing for food, and pretty much messing up the fishery. This company, uh, Cook, which I, as I understand it, also operates off the coast of Maine in New Brunswick, um, had a big disaster last year. 260,000 fish escaped. According to Washington state officials and legislators, they covered it up. They pretended it was not so many fish. Um, and they misreported other things. They were fined by the state for water quality violations. Now the state has pending legislation to phase out this lease and others sooner than when it's up for renewal. Um, they are now being threatened by this company, which says that unless you withdraw this legislation or just don't do this legislation, we will sue you under the investor state ISDS provisions, and we will seek millions of dollars because you're hurting our business by changing the rules here and doing this. So I, I think this is a very important issue, and this shows you very clearly how this ISDS provision um, matters uh, to a state government. Uh, and just to know about this, these cases are brought before arbitrators. The state of Maine, if it was us, in this case Washington, would not be directly represented. You're represented by the federal government. Um, and so these, you know, these issues are very important. And I would just say one more thing about aquaculture specifically. P part of the NAFTA negotiations and part of what's sort of going on informally right now with Canada are something they called regulatory cooperation, which are kind of behind the scenes discussions about harmonizing regulations between the two different countries. And one of the subject areas that they are discussing right now, and it could become part of NAFTA in a more direct way, is aquaculture rules. And I think it's important to know that the rules in New Brunswick are substantially less protective of the environment and potentially public health uh, in terms of use of antibiotics and things like that.